Good afternoon, everybody. Greetings. This is Pastor Jeff Johnson from Christ Church in Norristown, checking in with you in the middle of this day. I hope it's a decent one for you. Uh, first of all, I want you to know that if you have any prayer needs or prayer requests or, or something you would like someone else to pray along with you about, uh, please add it in the comments uh, while I'm talking or any time today or make a private message and, and I would be able to see that right away. Or just a shout out. Say hello. Well, people in crisis like this are often looking for a theological answer to give them some meaning as to why it's happening. Surely you, you've heard people say things like, I think uh, with this virus crisis that we're in, God is trying to tell us something or that God has, has brought this on for a reason. Or even, and I've heard it, you have too, that God is punishing us, punishing us for our sins, or, or, or trying to get us to repent through what we are currently suffering through. Now I also look for theological meaning in this, and in all things that happen in life, but perhaps with a different viewpoint than some. First, I'd like to share with you from the book of Isaiah, chapter 43, verses 1 through 3. But now thus says the Lord, He who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I'll be with you. Through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. Isaiah 43, 1 through 3. Now, I believe that God is uh, responsible for everything that happens to the extent that God created us in the beginning. He created you and me and everything that exists. God is ultimately in control. Ultimate, ultimately, but God does not control everything that happens, nor anything or everything that you and I do or perhaps neglect to do with our own lives. God is here to love us, to partner with us, to be with us and walk with us through the journey. Uh, he wants us to become all we can be as a people that live and love and serve in the, in the manner of Jesus who taught us to love our neighbor as ourselves. God will empower us as we look for ways to deal with the crisis that we're in right now to give us hope and strength and ability to find answers, a vaccine for the virus, and things of that nature. And God will be with us and empower us as we seek to overcome all the difficulties and obstacles in our own lives. This current crisis that we're in definitely is an opportunity given by God Everything that we, every day that we live is an opportunity given by God to take a look at ourselves and how we live, how we interact with others, uh, how we move ahead and use the gifts and abilities that God has given us. Surely it is an opportunity for self-reflection and to see what perhaps you or I need to change about our lives. Perhaps this extended time at home with a lot of the, the fun things that we do out and about, canceled and not available to us right now, is an opportunity to think on these things. And perhaps, perhaps we will come through this the better, the better for it. So remember today that you're not alone with God's presence and power by our side through this we will not, as the scripture says, be overwhelmed. I'd like to offer prayer this afternoon for you and for all of us. Dear God, we give thanks 
for the opportunity to live this day, this particular day. We certainly didn't ask for the troubles and the struggles that our country and our world is going through right now with this virus. We didn't ask for the struggles and difficulties we may be encountering in our own personal lives right now. But we know that with you by our side, that partnership will get us through it. Perhaps we will learn something from it all that will be important and valuable. Lord, be our help, our hope, and our strength this day. As always, prayers for those that are on the front lines of fighting the virus, medical people, doctors, nurses, and all types of people serving in in the medical professions right now in particular. Our first responders who encounter people who are sick and for all those that are struggling with this illness, the opportunity for better days ahead, we offer our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. I hope the rest of the day is good for you. God bless you. This is Pastor Jeff. We'll talk to you again soon. Keep looking up.